Hi friends, Mrs. Sharp here. This week in pre-K, we're talking about the water cycle. How on hot sunny days, water evaporates and goes up into the sky. And then on cold cloudy days, water condenses and comes back down as rain. I thought I'd share a rainy day craft with you, but don't worry, you won't get wet. You'll have your umbrella. get started, let's take a look at the supplies we're going to need. Part one, making the rain, we're going to need a metal cookie sheet, some water-based blue paint, a fat paintbrush, and some heavy white paper. For part two, the umbrella, we're going to need some white paper, a pencil and eraser, a black magic marker, some other markers if you want for outlining, some colored pencils, and a pair of scissors. And for part three, the last part, putting everything together, we're going to need three to four cotton balls, a glue stick, and if you want, some stickers. Okay, let's get started. Okay, so you can see I have my cookie sheet here. Uh, here's my blue paint. Now, I have this kind of paint that was just some liquid paint in a little jar. So I put some of it into a dish and added some more water so it wouldn't be so thick. If this is the kind of paint you have, you are going to want to do that. You don't want the paint super thick. You want it pretty watery. Maybe you have some watercolors that just come in a pan, and so you'll just have a dish of water that you would dip in there. Uh, so the first thing you're going to do is kind of fun you get to paint right on this pan. That's right, we're not even gonna paint on paper, we're gonna paint right on the pan. Now I'm gonna take my paper, and you see it's a little bit heavier paper, and I'm just gonna put it right on top, like that. Okay, give it a second, it's gonna Go right down into the paint, and now I'm going to pick it up. Ta-da! Look at that! That's my rain. Now right away I'm going to set it aside and let it dry. And now we're going to go on and do the umbrella part of the craft while that's drying. So I have a blank piece of paper here, and I'm going to use a pencil to start. And why don't I show you how I make an umbrella? I thought there are two ways you could do it. One way is to start with a circle. Now you're not going to press really hard. You're just going to uh, use a light touch and you're going to make a circle kind of in the middle of your paper here. So I'm just going to make a nice big circle like that. Okay, now that doesn't really look like an umbrella, but an umbrella is a half of a circle. So I'm gonna look at the middle point, like imagine this is the middle of my circle, and here I'm gonna make those teeth, those pointy teeth that are at the bottom of an umbrella. So I'm just gonna make bump, 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 and I hit it like that, okay? Now all I have to do is erase the bottom did in pencil and now the part I have left is my umbrella and all I need to do is add a stick in the middle like that okay now before I cut it out I'm gonna trace over it with my marker that way if I didn't like it at all I could fix it and erase it but now it looks pretty good so I'm going to trace over it. Okay, now that's one way you can do an umbrella. Another way you could do an umbrella is to turn your paper this way, the tall way, and you could start by making a big letter C. So I'm just going to kind of start again like in the middle, and I'm just going to make 
a letter C. Oh, my C. That was horrible. There we go. Okay. Now, once I make my C, oh my goodness, this is why I do it in pencil. Okay, that's really going to be the top of my umbrella. I've made a C, so I'm going to make those pointy teeth again. I'm going to start at the edge, and I'm just going to go bump, 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 bump. Okay, see, look at that. Now I have the top of my umbrella, and I just need to add my stick. Okay, so now our umbrellas are done. Whichever umbrella you chose, this is the umbrella where you or whoever you're going to draw is standing underneath the rain and staying dry. So all of this part under the umbrella is not going to have any rain. It's going to stay white like this. So when we cut out your umbrella, we want to cut out, you want to imagine that there are two lines here coming down from your umbrella. And we're gonna leave that paper on because that's where you're gonna draw your picture. So I'm gonna start at the bottom of my paper and I'm just gonna cut up. Oh, now I'm at my umbrella. So I'm gonna cut around my umbrella, taking my time, practicing with my scissors, doing a curve shape. And now when I get to this side, I'm just gonna cut straight down to the edge. Look at that. I'm set. Now there's only one more thing I'm going to add to make my umbrella look a little bit more like an umbrella. But what I like to do with my umbrellas is I like to draw lines up to the tippy top. So I'm going to start at all these pointy teeth and I'm just going to draw a line up to the top of my umbrella like that. I just curve it right up. Ta -da! Okay. Now it's up to you to color in or decorate your umbrella however you want. You can use markers. I like to use colored pencils because they're not super juicy, so I can really take my time and I could make little designs, like if I wanted to put, maybe I want to put hearts all over my umbrella. You can color this in however you like, whatever kind of decorations. You could just color in the whole panel if you wanted to do that. Look at that, I can color the whole thing. You could put stickers on, however you want your umbrella to be. But what, like I said, when you use a colored pencil, it's not too juicy, so you can really do designs, whatever you feel like. Okay, so after you finish decorating your umbrella, it's time to add you. And boys and girls, do you remember how we talked about uh, the parts you need to draw a person? Well, you need a head. And on your head, you need two eyes, a nose, a mouth. Maybe I'll put some dots in there to make it look like, ooh, I could add eyelashes if I want to, or eyebrows. What do we always need to remember underneath the head so your head doesn't roll off? That's right, a neck, okay? And then a body. I'm just gonna do a real simple body like that. We have two legs. that some feet oh my goodness mrs sharp does have very big feet so that's why i drew them so big and then what else do we need what's missing here that's right two arms maybe i'm gonna make one arm come over here to hold the umbrella and then my other arm can go like this okay and i might want to add some hair maybe a hat Whatever you want to do. You could even add a little character in here. If you have stickers, um, you could draw another shape. Some of the ideas I played around with was I thought I could do um, 
a really simple stick figure. Yeah, just with stick arms and legs. Okay, or how about, ooh, look at this. A robot. Boys and girls, this robot was so much fun. I don't know anything about robots, but all I did was use some of my shapes. Do you recognize them? Here we have a square head. A rectangle where the eyes are, or eye. I have two antenna with squares on the end. The body is a big square, or maybe it's kind of a rectangle. I use some ovals to make arms. So simple. I use two more rectangles for legs, rectangles for big blocky feet and a couple circles for buttons on my robot. So you could have fun with it. Draw whatever you like underneath. My rain picture is finally dry. Before we add on our umbrella and our person, whatever you did, why don't we add a few rain clouds to the top? I have my glue stick here, and we're gonna make some clouds. Now this doesn't really look like a cloud, this cotton ball. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stretch it out. Here I've, you can see I've stretched out a few already, but I just wanted to take a second and show you how I did it. If you take your cotton ball and you just pull on it, it's just gonna pull apart into pieces. So here's a time when you really want to slow down and be gentle. There's no rush. If you take your time, and just go nice and easy like this, your cotton is gonna stretch out into a much nicer cloud. It's not gonna pull apart. See, I just kind of, I'm very gentle. I'm loosening it up. Look at that, I go like this, I'm wiggling it. Okay, look at that. Oh, much better, see? That's much better for a cloud. Now, I have my glue stick. I'm just going to put some glue here at the top. My clouds are on. This is my finished umbrella. I know I showed you some examples of what you could do in the at the beginning and I decided to go with a rainbow. So that's what I did. So this is going to be me, and as you can see, I'm nice and dry under my umbrella. I'm gonna put a little bit of glue on the back. And I'm going to stick it right at the bottom edge of my paper. Look at that, and then I'm gonna smooth it out so it's nice and flat. Always remember to put the cap back on your glue so it doesn't dry out. Look at that! There I am. I'm standing in the rainstorm, but I am nice and dry. Boys and girls, it actually is a rainstorm outside right now. Isn't that funny? It just started to rain as I was talking to you. <laughs> now, remember I said if you wanted, just for fun, you could add someone underneath. I found a couple stickers I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna add this guy. Do you know who this is? Everyone know who that is? It's Piglet. Look at that, Piglet is standing with me, keeping nice and dry. And there you have it. Our rainy day craft for a rainy day.